back to Angels Like to Row. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for June the 14th through June the 20th. And without further ado, we are getting right into your love bird bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful, romantic, committed bond. Angels and guides, high vibrations for Sagittarius. Come on, angels, what is going on? Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Sag, what are the mess? Angels, what's the messages for Sag? Thank you. We have compatibility and release. Yes, sometimes the only thing to do is laugh or cry. It is up to you. Whatever is bothering you in your relationship, release it you know you guys you know they're the peanut butter to your jelly right so all of the yeah just let it go just just let it go release it okay release any problem because i feel like it's not one of those deal breakers so you might as well just release it okay all right so moving on to sages that are single and are looking for love angels positive energy high vibrations for sagittarius hmm we have worthiness and gratitude when it comes to love you are not going to accept no you're not going to accept anything that does not anyone that does not honor you that does not see your value okay no no you want long term and i feel like you are grateful for just sitting in that energy you're grateful that that is where you are right now while you are looking for love that actually helps you attract a more healthier love all right okay so now let's get right into angels and guides positive energy your weekly message thank you thank you thank you angels Positive energy, high vibrations, mm-hmm, 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 for lovely Sag. Moving on to, moving on to my mama's deck. Come on, angels. What is going on with my mama's deck? There we go. Angels, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Oh, that was awesome. That was, yeah, that was awesome. All right, let's go ahead and add the dragon's deck for lovely Sagittarius for October 4th. October, where did that come from? Oh, what is going on in October for you guys? Hmm, well, what went on in October for you guys? Angels, we're topping it off with the Hummingbird deck. Yes, we are. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Come on, angels, looking for positive energy. Yes, we are. Two more. Two more. Thank you, and whoops there we go all right now we're going to add one from the spiritual buddha deck just one message for the week we have understanding the understanding this week now let's go ahead and tidy up and get right into your lovely message we have the nine of pentacles reversed with the five of spades isn't that delightful opinions two of clubs and the seven of clubs this week, uh, it, I'm picking up that um, finances are okay. You know, they could be better. They could be better. But don't worry. It's all going to change. A lot of people have opinions about this. Mm. They're talking. You're not liking it. Somebody, I'm picking up somebody is upset because your financial situation is changing. Maybe theirs isn't. Maybe don't think. Maybe they don't think you deserve it. Um... But my advice to you is to just let it go. Yes, just let it go and accept your blessings. Yes. All right. Now, when we look at the recent past with the king of pentacles, with the two of clubs, celebration, three of spades and the five of diamonds. So I feel like with the king of pentacles in the recent past, you did not have control, complete control over your resources. I hear that you were talking about this to someone. The celebration, I feel like, I feel like there was a celebration. It was because you did something uniquely different, which changed your finances in the recent past. So, you know, 
times weren't always so great, okay? Now, when we look in the middle of the week, we have the page of pentacles, we have the five of clubs, grace, 10 of clubs and the jack of clubs. So in the middle of the week with the page of pentacles, you're talking about some money. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot of money, but you're talking about money changing. Yes, you're talking about how money is going to change, how um, you are you're great, you know, it, it's almost like you're, you're very graceful in this, you're not, you're graceful, you're um, grateful for this, you're not like, I feel like you are talking to a lot of people on how you came upon this with the jack of clubs, I feel like, why do I feel like you had a side hustle or a creative way to make money or it wasn't like everyone else's, I feel you are I, you know, I know the humble card isn't here, but I feel that you're being very humble in this uh, financial um, opportunity. You're being very humble. And you, you actually want to teach other people how you do what you do, okay, in the middle of the week. Let's, let's leave that. Let's, let's leave that for a second. Let's look at the end of the week, okay? So we have the justice card reversed with the two of hearts. The shine card, the queen of diamonds and the king of clubs. This is interesting. So the justice card reverse is telling me that this is not something that you, this is like, this is not karma. This is not like you, you get what you put in. This is kind of just, it kind of like happened. I feel like you're getting closer in your relationships. You didn't really do too much to do this, but I feel like, this relate these relationships maybe for some of you it's romance but I, I feel it getting better for some of you it's with your your friends or your relative or or something of that nature it's getting better it feels like everybody knows everybody knows with the queen of diamonds you're sitting in a really good spot with the king of clubs i feel like your finances are getting better and your love is getting better all your love even you know for some of you it could even be the love of a pet you know um but people need to be understanding for to you because i just feel like there's Sag, I just feel like there's some jealousy going on. I don't like that word, but I'm picking that up in this message. Now, when we look at your bonus, you have the Six of Pentacles reversed with the King of Spades and the Nine of Diamonds, Hospitality, Ace of Hearts, King of Diamonds, another King. So with the, with the, um, with the Six of Pentacles, financially speaking, things are not you feel like you're not getting your fair share, okay? Um, so I see with the king of spade, king of swords, you're gonna go get it. Mm -hmm. you're, you're gonna go get it. With the nine of diamonds, because you need to be able to take care of everything that you need to be able to take care of. You're not going to come out with swords and, and you know, no, you're not. You're gonna do it in a very gentle and loving way, but make no mistake, you with the ace of hearts, you're gonna take care of you. With the king of diamonds, you're sitting in, like whatever wasn't fair, wasn't balanced, wasn't like, I feel like there was something that was owed to you that wasn't given to you and you know that it was owed to you. I feel like you're going to go, because you got to take care of you, you right? You got to take care of your tribe and things of that nature. I feel like you will do that in uncertain terms. You will do that. Um, but like I said, it's not that you are greedy. It's not that you... Um, want everything no it's you put in the work and you want what like if you you put in the work and you want what you worked for okay and you're going to go out and you are going to get it now when i look at your resources i feel like your resources are changing there are some people around you sag that are a bit envious and you actually going out and getting what is yours i feel like there's some people thinking that wow like how much do you need do you need it is not about that you put out the energy you did the work you should get paid for the work the time that you put in and maybe it isn't money maybe it's you know a barter situation you did something for someone now it's time for them to do something for you and you're calling in 
you're calling in your debts or whatever it is that you're, you're calling them in because not because you need it because I don't feel that you do it's because it's mine and I want it okay and I'm just gonna leave it just like that don't don't be too worried about people feeling a certain kind of way about this you put in the work should get what is due you okay so i'm going to leave it there i send you joy namaste and much much love sent your way